All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the first ever Riff of the Day video. So uh, I'm hoping to uh, continue this and uh, keep it going and not procrastinate. As long as uh, somebody's getting something out of it, I hope uh, I hope I can keep doing it and uh, maybe helping you guys. But um, don't expect any professional terminology or, or correct wording because I used to know how to read sheet music, but I, I forgotten it since. When I was younger, I could. I played saxophone actually, uh, and <laughs> knew how to read sheet music, and I could probably figure it out quick. But I find it easier to listen and and watch people play, and that's the easiest way for me personally. You know, some people learn differently. So, but uh, yeah. So a lot of people that play are gonna say probably you didn't say that right. It's right. Whatever. I'm probably not going to, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> anyway, I want to start with uh, like a mid-level riff. Uh, a lot of guys that play that kind of get to this level uh, find out about the Hendrix chord, of course. Now, a lot of people are going to know that, some aren't. The Hendrix chord is just a jazz chord that Hendrix is famous for playing because it's in like three of the songs. jazz chord and you can use that finger phrasing in any key so of course like if you're playing an A all I did was move up the string in A of course you know uh, and use that same finger phrase just it's like from C to G same concept you know so I was playing an E there now I'm a half step down so if you guys are playing along or whatever it's gonna sound a little off but uh, so if you're playing an A and you riff that with the same finger phrasing. Now you see how that pinky can move and, and make that different phrasing there? So especially when we're on that D. At the turnaround chord, you can kind of play, you can kind of do whatever, because you're in that box there, see where the pinky is? Uh, you're, so you're in A. So, or, that's it, makes it a little bit of a tastier, more major kind of, you know, uh, and then you walk it down to that D, but you really can't do that with the D. Because it doesn't sound right. See how that tonality changes with it. So it's really all based on the melody and the context of the song, really. So, because uh, I can't say something won't work when you could probably find the melody to, to make it work. But it's all based on the just the basic blues structure, you know. And uh, from there, you can do. kind of riff from that and just keep it kind of jazzy you know so hopefully somebody got something out of that uh you know i'm hoping to keep doing them as long as i'm helping somebody and uh, if anybody has any questions or uh you know y'all y'all let me know what you think and uh if you got any uh you know if you want me to do a specific one y'all let me know and i'll and i'll uh, try to explain it from uh basically dumb it down for you because that's how I learned because I'm a dummy too so it's all good you know what I'm saying <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, keep rocking man keep playing